hello it's Ashley here from paper and twine you may have seen um, a walkthrough I did of the items that I made for Bex for the Christmas in um, July challenge and I showed um, a little activity book that I made and said that I'd do a separate video because it would take too long to sort of go through it so um this is what I made Bex's activity advent book and I'm going to do a walkthrough with, with you of um, what's inside. So um, on the front, I've stamped this penguin. Let me show you. I will try and keep this brief, but you know how I waffle. Um, I had this lovely set a couple of years ago in a magazine. It's got penguins and bears and owls and snowmen and lots of little accessories that you can stamp separately and fussy cut. Um, yeah, that came through the magazine. It's hunky dory by looks of things. And um, I've stamped that on the front with a little present and used a variety of things to colour in. Um, I've used a selection of these fine liner pens. Um, so you can get in close in the detail. I did the boots and the stripes on the scarf. Um, and then I've used these Sentimentally Yours by Phil Martin watercolour pens from set one to do the um, Christmas present and the hat. And um, the gold ribbon I've used that gold explosion powder from Pretty Gets Gritty so I've used a variety of things um, and then I've gone around the edge with some very watered down weathered wood just to give a little bit of dimension and then on the hat the Santa hat I've used these glitter jewels from Cosmic Shimmer. This one is Iced Snow, which I really like because um, it's kind of clear. And uh, yeah, I, I really like that. And then um, the journal, Woolly Steph has got a tutorial on how to make this journal. You can make it to any dimension you like once you've got the kind of basics. Um, so I'll link that video down below for you and um, I have used a variety of two paper pads. I've used what I've got because I'm a great believer in using what you've got. So um, I had this 12 by 12 Christmas with Wellington stamp set, uh, stamp set paper pad. I think it's do crafts. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so there's some nice things in there. Um, so I've used some patterned papers from that and I've also used, that I've had for a very long time in my stash, this um, Crafter's Companion Signature Collection, uh, which has got some nice papers in as well. So I've chosen ones that all work together <coughs> and used uh, bits and bobs to um, decorate the inside and outside of the journal. Um, so let's have a look. So the idea is there are 24 pages and you do um, an activity a day. So um, instead of opening a chocolate advent calendar, you've got a little advent activity to do every day. It's turned out into a bit of a chonker. So every page has got um, a piece of background paper and a little coordinating pocket that is made out of black card, um, a little bit of gold mirror card for a bit of opulence and then a coordinating paper. And then each pocket has got a little tag. And I used some old Craftwork card tags that I've cut down to fit into the pockets. Um, and I've threaded the French linen through each hole and put a little bead on each one. So this one, um, nice manuscript paper, a little bit of winter foliage going on. The first activity is collect pine cones to decorate your house. I've just um, used some thinner weight card because it 
it was getting really chunky and I've sprayed some spray on randomly just to give a bit of interest I don't know if you can see that shimmer there and then I've used the bit of the tag that I've cut off to decorate the bottom of the back of the tag waste not want not you see and I've gone around the edge of each piece in black sharpie with a ruler just to cut down on the bulk because as I say it's a real chonker so number one collect pine cones to decorate your house I've tried to think of a variety of activities that don't cost money that are non-religious because I don't know what Becky's religious status is and um kind of to think of other people as well as yourself so um the stickers came from the range they were in a set of uh, gorgeous girl stickers and i bought them for the numbers so you can just see number one there i'm gonna bring you in a bit actually this way i'm a bit struggling a bit to get you centered there we go so number two uh, I used two tag packs that I've got and I'm all about just using things up and I could have embellished these tags more but to be honest with you it has taken me two days to make this journal with all the titivating so I've got this lovely little robin on a tartan post box I think this is the chalkboard collection and I didn't have a bit to cut off um to, to stick on the bottom so I've just used some glitter jewels send a piece of Christmas happy mail to a random subscriber that's number two because Bex has got a YouTube channel which I'll also leave linked down below now this Christmas tag the interest was at the bottom um, so there is some interest there and um, I've used Christmas out of the French dictionary uh, just because that's sticking out and needs a bit of interest and you can see the background paper there and um, the paper that is on the on the front pockets is all scraps from cutting down the uh, three and seven eighths of an inch uh, backgrounds so nothing is going to waste so number three uh, make some paper chains to decorate your house number four again a little cute robin uh, choose three things to take to a charity shop number five sing a christmas song or carol And all of these have got little beads threaded on the twine number six is write your christmas cards and deliver local ones it does seem strange talking about christmas um, as i'm filming this it is uh, june <laughs> number seven make some paper snowflakes to stick to your windows and of course if you're um somebody who's got young children at home a lot of these activities you can do with uh, young children go for a walk and collect holly ivy and mistletoe to decorate your house number nine watch a christmas movie such as elf do you know i don't think i've ever seen elf <laughs> number ten make some christmas cookies 11 is play a board game with your family in our house we uh, like monopoly but it does end in tears quite often <laughs> i'm sliding about here number 12 phone a friend you haven't spoken to for ages number 13 make some homemade wrapping paper using festive colors and patterns and wrap up some presents number 14 donate some canned food next time you go shopping so it's all about trying to think about other people as well and you know five cans of food for a fiver stick them in those trolleys they have in the supermarkets again this tag didn't have any interest at the top so i've cut out snow in the dictionary 
and um, we've got snow, snowball, boule de neige, that's nice isn't it, snowbound, snowdrift, snowdrop, snowflake, snowplow, snowshoe, snowstorm, I like it when you get lots of things like that, and you've got a little bit of mistletoe on there, I do love this chalkboard collection, so that's number 15, 16 is, there's the tag for 16, read a Christmas story, put your feet up with a book, 17 make some mince pies and give some to a neighbour look there's a little bit of wellington sticking out there i used the uh, front page for the little bits of different paper there i do like wellington and you'll have seen that i used um some of the wellington paper in something else that i made for bex if you saw the other video 18 is go for a long walk and see what you can see. Have a long hot bath when you get home. Because there's nothing nicer is there than going for a walk on a crisp winter's day when it's cold and uh, you know, you're well wrapped up and then coming home and having something like a, a hot chocolate or a glass of mulled wine and uh, a nice bath. Look at this lovely Robin, isn't that adorable? So this is 19. Take a couple of hours to try a new paper craft te or technique such as quilling. 20. We're nearly at the end. So 20. Again, we've got this lovely um, winter foliage, the ivy and the pine cones make some reindeer food ready for Christmas Eve I mean my kids are all grown up as you know the oldest is 23 she'll be closer to 24 this Christmas um, and we still put out the food for Santa and the glass of whiskey and the and the the reindeer food so 21 write a Christmas or winter themed story or poem think about what you want to say so I just thought taking time out to be creative at a busy time of year could be quite relaxing and therapeutic. 22, perform a random act of kindness to show goodwill to all men, which is um, a saying you see on Christmas cards. Is it from a carol, goodwill to all men? I'm not sure. Uh, 23, so the penultimate one. Uh, take a walk in the dark to see your local Christmas lights on people's houses. And then finally, Christmas Eve. I quite like the one I did for Christmas Eve because um, you've got the moon. I found a scrap with the moon and the stars. And uh, on the uh, number stickers, there were some extra little snowflakes and stars. Um, so I've just put a couple of gold stars there. And I've got this uh, reindeer one, which I thought was quite appropriate for Christmas Eve with Santa's reindeer. And it says, hang up your stocking, put out the reindeer food and leave a snack out for Santa. Merry Christmas. And then there is this lace to um, close it all up. Um, I might make a box, I don't know, if I have made a box you'll have seen it on the previous video. But um, you know the journal is made out of um, cardboard boxes, you'd never know would you? And it, they're so sturdy and I do use collal glue to stick everything down on the cover so it, you know it's like cement almost. And I don't know whether you can see little gold dots on that white paper, I flicked, there's some there look. I flicked some of the gold paint from the bow um, that was on my acrylic block with a fan brush just so that I didn't waste it. So um, very subtle. And I'm into my kind of um, multi matte layering. So there's an eighth of an inch uh, board around all of that. So that is that. Let me know what you think. Would you, if you had one of those um, books, would you be sneaky and look at every tag before each day came or would you keep it as a surprise for each day let me know what you would do it got me thinking I might make one of these for each of my um, niece's children 
although actually that I have got six great nieces and nephews so that would be a lot of work wouldn't it <laughs> oh it's 12 days work if it takes me two days a two days a thing um but um I found these in my stash um and I thought I could I could use these so digital paper so I've got the snowman and the snow dog I've got Christmas with Barclay which is really nice you've got all the coordinating papers and you've got some um you know oh it says collect the coordinating rubber stamps I wonder if you can still get those those would be nice um but you've got all your toppers and things um so that could work and these are quite old um cd-roms so i don't think that you can resize any of these i think you just print out what you've got and then i've got raymond briggs father christmas so um yeah i could i could perhaps do those so um, i'm seeing that i'm just over 15 minutes i don't think that's too bad for that walkthrough do you um as i say comment down below let me know what you uh think and i will be back soon take care everybody bye now